We are ready to. Ooh, okay. Open, I'm going to actually close this window so there's not too much wind noise. But um, we are ready to make our next drive. I did not record the last video uh, because it was 90% highway. Uh, I had one disengagement where it couldn't get over. I needed to. Um, it needed to get over uh, three lanes to make a left turn, and it just, it's not aggressive enough yet to do that. I've never had it to complete that section. Um, but otherwise, just one disengagement on that short section because it was mostly highway. Um, so, ooh, I must have freaked out because that guy was walking in the road. So it saw that speed bump got the last second there. So what we're doing is we're going through this neighborhood here, uh, Biltmore Park, and um, then we're gonna go out onto 25, uh, which is Asheville Highway, Hendersonville Highway, depending on Hendersonville Road, which, depending on which direction you're going. And uh, we're going towards Asheville. Streets are really wide. And don't have any lines, of course, but this is basically where I would go uh, in terms of being in the street. Maybe a little bit more to the right. There's a person crossing the road right here. You can see that person. And slowed down appropriately. And it's, now it's speeding back up. See how it changes here. It needs to stay on the right side of this median. It's good. So here it needs to stay a little bit further left. And I wonder if it's going to make this light. Okay, good. So that's appropriate. That's did exactly what I wanted it to do and stop stop for the next light. And probably can move up a little bit further, but I'm gonna leave it right here. This is this is totally fine. The crosswalk is right there, and it's being redone. This is obviously new construction right here. Uh, I'm surprised that changed so quickly for us. Very good, very good. accelerated just a little bit there to keep it from breaking so much there's a car behind me I don't want it to break harshly with that car behind me yeah, so that was really good really good um, so we're the route is not gonna be exactly the same time as we did we did this route on 9.2 Mike wasn't able to go today I don't believe um, so I'm trying to navigate this myself it's not going exactly the same route but it's like 90% the same um, so we're gonna go up into here and then we're gonna come back out um, right here and we're actually gonna take a left again through this weird intersection uh, so it's green this car wasn't going That was a very good left turn. Very good. Normally I had a little bit of hesitation in those type of turns, but that was good. And you used to again see the stoplight up ahead sooner and just start slowing down for it. At least bare minimum, maintain speed and don't accelerate. It was still accelerating to up to that red light. Let's see, I'm gonna press it through that light. That was a, that was a, that could have gone either way. It could have jammed on the brakes and stopped or it could have pushed through. Me as a human, my preference is to push through and not jam on the brakes there. Uh, it could have gone either way for that. Uh, 
so this is going to be a good test. It needs to get in the turn lane. Oh, that was that was not great. Should have got over in that turn lane earlier. It's a camera button. Let me actually change this back to street view. It's good to go. I had to press the accelerator just a tiny bit to get it going. Mock left on facing track. Okay, that was kind of sketchy. So, what I need to do is I'm going to turn down the speed so I can just have it continue going. This is why we need waypoints. Come on, Elon. Give us the waypoints. Okay, so I handled that curve pretty well. One thing I haven't been on is too curvy of a road yet to know if it's going to handle curves at a higher speed. That's what I'm wondering right now. So I can see, it can. I know it can see it to just go. It's totally clear. There's people on the road up ahead here. A little bit hesitant there. Let's see if it sees the speed limit sign. I don't think it's going to. Oh, I know it does. Okay. Sometimes those odd, slow, like 10, sub 10 mile an hour speed limit signs, it just doesn't read for some reason. That was a big speed bump right there. Um, I don't think it sees those yet and will slow down. If I don't slow down, it's not going to. Okay, so I don't actually, I want to go right here. So I went around those cones right there, good. I think we came out right here last time. I'm almost positive. Ooh, see, I was, that's why I wanted to come this way, because I thought there was a chance it was going to mess up here, the road splits. And it, it did fine. <laughs> it needs to read. <laughs> it needs to slow down. It sped up the speed limit and didn't see a sign. That might actually be a temporary speed limit sign there. <laughs> really a stop sign that I can't see. And it can see, so that's good. The cyclist up ahead. Let's see what it does for him. We might have to disengage. I don't know if it goes around for cyclists yet. We are open, clear to go around him. So now we're taking too long, so now it should wait. Because there's a blind corner up here. We should not go around him at this time. Also give a little bit more space. It's a little bit more space to him. So we have another blind corner. Just for the sake of trying to get zero disengagements, um, yeah. probably make a pit stop up here. So I can call my mom back. Okay. Good, look at there. I didn't do anything. All I did was give it a little bit more confidence. But um, we're going to see how it makes this intersection again. So it's kind of a sketchy intersection here. It still needs to get further over to the left. It's slightly, maybe at six inches further to the left than it was last time we went here. I think there's enough room on the right that... Uh, someone... It's hard to tell. There's probably enough room a car could get by there. Okay, let's see if we make this again. I'm pressing the accelerator just to give it a little bit more confidence. Wow! Okay. Turn left Honestly, that's really impressive that I can make this intersection here. It's really impressive. So this this is where we had a disengagement last time. There was traffic block in the middle of the road, and I had a green light, and it didn't stop for the traffic. Fortunately, we don't have that issue this time. But it's still something we should have to watch, watch out for. And it needs to take a left here, it needs to slow down. That's that that actually that was fine. Slowed down good. So let's see if it's going to 
go on its own. Should, well, could have gone there if it was aggressive enough. Right here, I'm gonna have it start going. Okay. So this turn right here, I wish I had my, um, probably could have done it, but uh, I wish I had my 360 camera on so you can see how sharp this corner is. Okay, we're gonna see how it makes this turn here. This is, ooh, I don't like how fast it went out in this turn, but it made it. Oh, it tried to stop for that stop sign. So that's definitely incorrect there. Okay, it went over the line. Okay. I don't know what visibility you needed to check for. Oh my goodness, that's took started taking off right there. taking a little bit different route than we did last time. I think we actually took this way up, but that's okay. Again, still so far, zero disengagements for this drive. Now turn right onto McDowell Street. That was good. Oh, well, that wasn't in braked because it turned to a yellow right there. Okay, we're good to go. There's a bus coming. I guess the bus is in the other lane. As long as it accelerates like this, I think we're safe. I think this is the road we came out last time right here to our right. So we must have gone up here and back down this direction. That's weird. It uh, didn't go. I wonder if it didn't go because I was looking at the screen. In my peripheral vision, I could see that it was green, but um, it just decided not to go. It was an appropriate lane change. We all were going to get in the left lane here. Though I want to say I, I don't. I'm not super familiar with these roads, but um, I want to say for some reason this turns into a left-only turn lane and doesn't turn where we want to go. Yeah. Still can't see emergency vehicles. It should mark mark those specifically on the map, well, on the visualization. I think that will happen here within a few updates by the sounds of it. Don't, no, don't do it. Okay. I'm pressing... No, no, no! Yeah. It messed up, everyone. <laughs> that's, oh, that's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. Wow, it messed up again. They really, really need to fix that. There's no reason it should try to go around cars and traffic. I just don't, I don't know what causes that. Like, do people actually drive that way? Did the car learn? Whoa. Okay, well that was semi-appropriate because of the I thought there's people going in the road. I'm not sure what this person's doing in this. Oh, they're getting it. But... Oh, the GPS isn't accurate. That's what's causing the issue. Ah, uh, that's causing, causes so, there's this freaking Land Rover right here, okay. That one I'm not counting, because, well actually, yes, I have to count it. The Land Rover got in my way, and 
I was not risking curving my wheels for that. Um, it might have made it, but too close for comfort for me. So that was three disengagements all at the very end. All at the very end. And it felt like we wanted to turn into that car. And this everyone, this is um did not end well. Again. It's like the car waits till the very end and wants to completely screw up the video. It's like it's it's like it's they're purposely wanting to screw up the video. Um let's see, I need to find a place to park real quick. This is actually the end of this this video here. I'm gonna start right here like we normally do, but I need to uh, go ahead and call my mom real quick and then um We'll regroup, and I'm going to actually add on my 360 camera on the roof to get some better angles of the of the traffic in Nashville. Uh, well, obviously the very end was disappointing everyone, but uh, the first half was fantastic. First 98% was fantastic. The rest of it, unfortunately, was re really disappointing. Um, otherwise, um, uh, I think that uh, did well, otherwise to the very end. I think that might have had to do with GPS accuracy. I'm not sure what went on there, but it, something is definitely off. Like, it's like, it, look, it's even going in the wrong lane here. It's like, if this is accurate, it's, this is on the opposite side of the road. It's like, it's in the correct lane right here, but then it gets in the long, wrong lane right here. So I don't know, uh, I, I don't know what, what its logic is, but yeah, see, it's even trying to get in the left lane here. So I don't know, something to do with navigation for sure. But uh, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.